What's up everybody? Moving on to the next concept, we're going to talk about the slope of a tangent in this video. And before doing that, I want to differentiate between a secant line and a tangent line, do a little review. And if you remember, a secant line is always between two points on a function, while the tangent line is always only at one point on the function. So for example, let's say that we have this function drawn out, and we have these two points here. So this point, let's say it's at x1, and then this point here is at x2. And we want to find what the slope of that secant line through the two points would be. Well, how would we do that? Well, we know that the coordinate of this point is going to be x1, and then the y value would be f of x1. We don't know what f is in this case, so we'll just keep it in that notation. But that's what the y value would be. It would be f of x1. If we were given an equation to find the y value, we would just plug in that x1 for all the x values. And then similarly here, this point, the x value is x2, and then the y value is f of x2. So to find the slope of the secant, we can just use the formula, the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where this here is y1 and this here is y2. So we would just have f of x2, which is this y value here, minus the y value there, which is f of x1, all over the difference in the x values. So if we were given actual coordinates for both points on a function, then the slope of the secant would just be the slope between those two points. Pretty simple. Now in contrast, the tangent line, let's say that we have this function drawn out and we want to figure out what the slope of the tangent is at this point here. So let's say that is just x. Let's label it x. So if we draw the tangent line, it's just going to be a line that just hits that point and then no other point on the function. So the coordinate of that point is going to be x and then the y value is going to be f of x, whatever f of x is uh, equal to. We don't have the actual equation in this example, but that's what the notation for the y value would be. Now the question is, how do we find the slope of the tangent when we only have one point? In this case, in the case of a secant line, it was easy because we had two points. So we could just do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But how do we do when we only have one point? Well, if you remember to advanced functions, this is a bit of a review. What you can do is you could pick a point that's very close to that coordinate for which you have the tangent on. So let's say that we pick a coordinate that's close and let's say the x value of it is x plus h, where h is just some kind of small number. Well, the coordinate of it is going to be x plus h, the x value is going to be x plus h, and then the y value is going to be f of x plus h. Well now, since we have two points, we can just use the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula. So the y2 is this f of x plus h minus y1, which is just this f of x, all over x2, which is represented by this x plus h, minus x1, which is represented just by that x. And then here, notice how the numerator, we can't simplify anymore, so that would be f of x plus h minus f of x. But notice in the denominator how the x's will cancel out, and we're just left with an h at the bottom. So that final expression here represents the slope of the tangent. And if you remember, that is the difference quotient that we went over in advanced functions. So what we would do usually is we would take this difference quotient and then plug in very small numbers for h, like plus or minus 0.001 to get a coordinate that's very, very close to that coordinate for which we have the slope of the tangent on, and then we can calculate the slope of the tangent. However, in calculus, we're not gonna be approximating anymore. We're gonna be finding the exact value for that slope of the tangent. So what we're gonna do is algebraically we're going to use this formula but then at the end we're going to sub in zero for h. So we're going to find the value of this expression as h goes to zero. So basically this notation means the limit of this expression as h approaches zero. Now limits we'll go over in more detail in future videos 
but uh, when you see this notation here, it just means that we're taking this expression and we're finding the value of it as h gets closer and closer to zero, and that's going to give us the exact value for the slope of the tangent. Now I'll go over a couple of examples in the next few videos of how we actually use this formula. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.